Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, boy. I have faith in you, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's Looks like we're live. this one more thing from you actually no I, I don't need this on to prove your love and devotion I require a sacrifice your son I should probably pull up chat not on my phone this time his life as an offering to me to prove you love me yeah above all else okay Sounds good. Isaac, watching through a crack Things are looking good. Scrambling around Phones on vibrate. Easy setup. Welcome everyone. To another live stream in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last time we had two win streaks. Thanks to our second Samson run and our first Azazel run which cut short again apologies for that we been playing as Lazarus with the anemic let's get started Lazarus is interesting he has two items technically one is Lazarus rags which you can't see but it's his extra life and the other is anemic. Whenever he takes damage, he leaves a trail of blood, which damages enemies. His extra life is unique in that if you die, you come back as resurrected Lazarus, or Lazarus II, with enhanced stats. That's basically how he is. Otherwise, his stats aren't too interesting. Everything is just as basic. Like, in Isaac's way, he has negative one luck. That way, when you resurrect, you don't get plus two luck, so you get zero. I'm sorry, plus one luck. Alright. He also starts with a random pill, which really doesn't come in handy, honestly. So... When you resurrect as Lazarus II, you only start with 1 HP. The best way of actually setting this up to make sure Lazarus actually works well in his second form is to get as many stats up as possible, as early as possible. Resurrect yourself and collect soul hearts. Yeah, this is, this is something, alright. Hearts for this. And spiders. Camo and these is not that great. It's something, but it's not a stat up, which is what I wanted. I guess I should also uh, fix the title. Just uh, call it Lazarus. All right. Cool. We have two tinted rocks, so chances are we would be able to resurrect on this floor with the amount of soul hearts we have. Hopefully our first, you know, let's say I should probably kill these guys. Hopefully our first boss item will be a stat up. Can't use our bomb right now. 
I wouldn't mind getting hit here since uh, our blood trail can really kill uh, Larry, Larry Jr. In fact, I'm gonna take damage from him right now. Paint the floor red. If you can follow me, yes, there we go. All right, we get blood clot. I guess it's not terrible, but it's not what I want. All right, now. Can we... I'm gonna bomb this first. There's two soul hearts. Actually, that's perfect. So when you die as Lazarus... We get faster movement speed, more range, a plus one on luck, and a damage up. So we're basically as strong as Kane. Not as fast as Kane, but his range is better. Kind of like these soul hearts. Makes it easier for us. And you might have noticed as well, um, Cain, or I'm sorry, Lazarus, when you die as with Lazarus rags, it's the only resurrection item that respawns you in the same place where you die rather than spawning you in the room before you died. So if you're finding a strategy to, you know, kill yourself but also keep yourself in the room that you're in, Lazarus rags is the only thing that can do it for you. And since we have two soul hearts, we do feel a little more comfortable with the double deal, getting the double deal. So now it's just a basic run. It's, Lazarus is one of my, not, not lesser favorites, but he's close of being like in my top 10 or so. He could be better. Ugh. He could be better. It's just that there's a lot of setup. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, min, min, min maxing is good. Min maxing I like in Isaac, allowing us to make the characters stronger based on what they are built around with. Um, with Samson, it's pretty easy. Just take damage and you're good to go. With Lazarus, it takes more time. It's a neat idea, though. It, it's a passive, you know, Black Judas. You get Apple. Apple's a great item. Uh, Kind of underrated, I'd say. Uh, every f has a chance for us to shoot a razor blade, which does double the damage. But as a small bonus, it actually increases our tiers. A lot of people don't know that. Our, our firing tier rate. All right. Well, well I'll take on our double deal right now. It's haunt. I'm not looking forward to too much right now. We're going to use our strength card here. I, I don't feel too confident in using, fighting against Haunt this early. Using our strength card was not really the best idea already, but we have one soul heart. It might be fine. It wouldn't be fine if there were two items in there. We get three soul hearts. At least two two items in there that I would want that cost the two hearts. But there's only one, and it's mom's. It's not mom's knives. It's the sack dagger. Fantastic orbital. I think this is the first time we're taking a uh, sacrificial dagger on this floor. What sacrificial dagger does? You know what? We're gonna head to the next floor. Yeah, I, I'm actually gonna say screw it. I think we're good on this floor. Uh, it's a uh, wasn't that bad at a, of a floor. Sacrificial Dagger does a ton of contact damage against enemies. On top of that, it can block shots as well. It's by far the best orbital. In my mind, it's the best orbital. It's the strongest orbital. I'm not going in there just yet. We could find ourselves a... Uh... We have two of spades. And death. Uh, I'll save the two of spades for later. Uh, well, yeah, no. Yeah, let's, let's just take it. Use it. Yeah, it's without a doubt the best orbital in my mind.
when you use a uh, sack dagger be very careful when you are uh, going up against enemies a great item to take advantage of orbitals like this without a doubt uh, any sort of um, any sort of invincibility item Yep, just just like that, we get a massive damage up thanks to Cricket's head. Okay, I think this is a good floor to at least head into our shop to tempt a, to tempt uh, some you know a good tempt. Blech, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Our attempt to buy something from the shop or see what's in the shop. We got our damage there. We got our tears up, thanks to Mr. Dully and the Apple. It's not max tears, but it's still fantastic this early. Um, any sort of utility item mapping or anything would be also really good. I think the enemies being confused, I should take advantage of that more often. That's from the Camel Undies. That could come in handy with... Um, get chaos I kind of want chaos I'm not gonna lie I kind of want to see what we get chaos is such a love and hate item for me I just love having to see what comes up from it on the other hand you know you can get really bad devil deals but we, we only have we only have we don't have any red hearts so I don't think we're losing much out of it. Seagram's probably over here. Oh, I can bomb it over here, though. Yeah. Get more coins out of this. Just two more, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this the Lazarus is chaotic run. I guarantee it. Okay. Let's back up a bit. Just think about the uh, possibilities of what we can get. I'm not sure where the super secret room is. It actually could be here. No. Yeah, Super Secret Room has a lot more possibilities, though. And I don't think... Ugh, okay. Let me see. Just need two more flames. Probably should have bombed the uh, Keeper instead. Oh, there we go. Let me see if I can get... Okay, so we have enough for... Chaos and that soul heart. And that's what we're going to do. Get an extra bomb. Alright. Let's fight the boss. I actually wonder if Camo Undies worth is, is that useful. against bosses get infamy it's a decent item not something you would ever see in the boss item a uh, boss room so that's good still a solid run I'm not feeling super great so far about it though but we, we can see okay I'm take my usual water Let's see what we have here uh oh yeah yeah that's fine i got no time for that Get a 
luck upgrade. And I guess what makes me really want chaos is potential of getting is the potential of getting uh, five, uh, double deals for free or double items for free as well as angel items for free. We get HP up. I'll, I'll take the HP up. It's not really a glamorous item to see in an item room. You want to see that stuff in a double in a boss room, but. In case there is a really good item, whether it's a double item or not in the double deal, at least I can pay with it cheap. We could fight in here. Oh man, there's a angel item, uh, angel chest in there. We don't have enough bombs or keys, which is a little weird. It's a little weird. We do have a tinted rock here though. Wow. I actually think camel honeys can work pretty well with um sack dagger or any orbital. It's not the most useful item for this synergy, but like there's probably better ways of doing it. Like I said, invincibility is really great for it. But still it's it's surprisingly been helpful so far. We got two of clubs. No sacrificial room today. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be all that helpful. Apple's also coming in handy. Apple plus the uh, blood clot doing significant damage. Careful with you gotta be careful where the spiders land for this. I do think Lazarus starting with a pill, a random pill, is always weird. I don't know. Ooh. This is probably a room I should have just stayed invisible in. All right, I gotta be careful. Yeah, you know, a lot of bombs. I'll just bomb this. <laughs> what, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, there, there was that room with all the chests in. Or should I just fight the boss? I don't know. The super, if the secret room was... I wonder where the super, secret room would be. Probably right here. No. Huh. Is it to the east of here? No. I have no idea where the secret room is. I want to at least find it, make it easier. Okay, it must be here. Get some stuff here. No solid, uh, we now we need some more like defensive stuff, you know. By the way, when you uh resurrect as Lazarus the second, anemic will always affect, will always be inactive will always be active as you move and if you get hit you sp uh, spread even more so get hollow okay well hollow is pretty easy Let's stick with it. 
And somehow no devil deal. I'm not a fan of B, B, F. Uh, it's basically the uh, the bomb fly enemy. Except when it bounces around, it can damage other enemies, but it, it could still damage you. The explosion still damages you if you come in contact with it. Get contract from below, which I'm fine with. Need a little more uh, pickups. So e even if we didn't pick up chaos, it's not like the double deal was gonna pay us out because, well, it hasn't been showing up for a while. All right. But at least contract from below feels like we got a double deal item. Can you not leave? Yes, I will go over here. Two of diamonds, oh yeah. Oh boy. Me bomb here. Oh, surprisingly. No greed. I'm trying to find a tinted rock as well. Get the virus, which I will take. We're at speed for a bit, but it's not a huge deal. Uh... All right. Okay, you went really fast. Still getting bombs, by the way. A little strange. There we go. Go into the and, and and it wants me to spend it more on bombs. I mean those bombs would be fine, but I, I need I need keys right now. Forgot that was a three shot. I almost got hit from that. We need an invincibility item. Unicorn stump. Unicorn stump would be great. fly okay <laughs> it's an item you would typically see in a item room Yeah, this is working out very well. Very, very well. <laughs> and well, the Lost Fly is actually doing more damage. Can we stop getting bomb drops? Okay, well, the. Those enemies still move around. Okay. 
Revenge Fly is fantastic. Um, <laughs> Lazarus rags again. I really would like the wafer. I really would not mind the wafer. I think I will take the wafer. Cause we're we're about to come to the to the next chapter. Well almost. Get, we get forget me now which I might actually use that extends our our run a bit we get ghost baby which is again something that I would normally see in a devil room chaos is not being so chaotic currently the only chaotic thing we've seen is like infamy in a boss room wafer in the shop and an HP up in an item room but that even then that's not huge we're going to use Forget Me now, which is also an item that you need Lazarus to unlock with, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, Forget Me now literally, uh, oh, we get Curse of the Unknown, huh? At least it's not Curse of the Blind, I guess. Forget Me now literally just, uh, it, it resets the room you're currently in. Wow, Camo Undies, man, that is... That is some work. The reason why I'm bombing the uh, skulls is because you can get. Um, oh my god. You can get black hearts from them. Or, or cards. We have a lot of bombs, so I may as well. Most of the time you'll get host hat, but it's not a big deal. It's... Just make sure you bomb them before you clear the room. That way the host hat doesn't count themselves as an, en as an enemy as they are here because now since we destroy them or since they showed up we have to kill them even though the other enemies are dead curse rooms are a little more safe to take um, in the next chapter since we only take half heart damage and we need a key More bombs. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, we can't bomb our way through, I guess. More bombs. Can I bomb here? No. Super secret room? Secret room? No. It is a tough run, I, I will say that. I, I'm more nervous because of our health. Oh. oh, I was really hoping Lost Fly would have killed them there. I'm not a huge fan of Lost Fly, but if there are bosses or enemies that are stationary or they go against the wall a lot, it's not terrible. This, uh, the, the Forever Alone Fly and the Lost Fly are by far my least favorite fly enemies. Like, like regular fly enemies, though. Well, unless if you count the War Fly, then sure, we'll count the War Fly, which does contact damage, or, or uh, explosive damage. To ourselves. We need a key. Well, we don't have any bombs, but 
We need a key. <laughs> Let's go. I would like to take that moon card. But if I didn't see the... I mean, I probably wouldn't have taken it anyways. Okay. I want a key game. Just a single key. I'm not sure if there's an item that is preventing us from getting a key. But... It's pretty bad. Alright, we're done here. Not happy about this floor. Because the game refuses to give me a single key. Can't even get into that. So I'm looking around now. Finding some, uh... Well... I should look for the secret room. That's probably our best bet. It's not here. I can't remember exactly where I bombed. It, was it up here? Yes. And it's greed. Greed. Can you drop a key? Probably not. Alright. <gasps> it's two keys. <laughs> oh my god. That's incredible. Let me see if I can get extra money. No. We have a chance though. We certainly have a chance. Uh, homing bombs. Before I re-roll this, I should probably check out the shop. Get Gimpy. And... Okay. We're gonna take Gimpy and I wanna bomb this one more time. That's so hard. So we we really just re rolling once. Maybe twice, if the game allows us. Toast. Okay. I prefer fast bombs over homing bombs, so. Well, one, it actually gives us two bombs, two extra bombs than the homing bombs does. It's also decent enough. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that rock there. Would I be able to find the super secret room? Cool. Not too bad. Got better. Black card, please. Alright. Two dark ones. Why not? Just, just make this easier for us. Not touch the... I think us having Gimpy and the Waver can definitely make this run smoother. Once again, no devil deal. Not a huge deal, I guess. We do get Halo of Flies, which is more shield protection for us. So I do appreciate that. This run is going to, probably going to be our longest run on the stream so far. Since we have to redo a floor. Luckily, no... No curse... Yes. <laughs> I love this. I love this combo of camo undies and sack dagger. Alright. That, that was great. Okay. Th I'll, I'll be honest. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. We'll make it even more better. Probably 
Unicorn Stump or Holy Mantle. I can't really distinguish this as being a one run because I'm not like so experienced with Sack Dagger runs. I don't need the Lover's card. Maybe I should have held on to it in case we get like an Ace of Diamonds or whatever. Ace of Spades, you know. Keys would be great. Remember Keys game? I know the key I know the game doesn't remember keys, why would it? No secret room here. I suppose a little extra damage would be nice, but it's not the most worrisome thing, I feel. Oh. I'm not expecting the boss to be here already. Uh, secret room's not up there. We got Chubb. Just chilling. Somehow Chubb can still see us, so okay. Man, Apple's been helping us a lot. And there goes Lost Fly doing some good work there. Way to go, Lost Fly. Okay. We don't even have an active item, which is kind of a shame. Super secret rooms here. Got some stuff here. Um, get more bombs. Before I head into the shop, I want to find the uh, secret room, hoping to run into Super Greed. Looks like it's next to the shop, so we'll do that. Oh, it's actually not. Okay, um, wow, that's really weird. That's a great place to put the secret room. It might be to the right over here, but I want to make sure. No, it's not, okay. Interesting. Okay. I mainly wanted to do that. I kind of had to do that because, well, I need a key. Get the compass, which is pretty good. I might take the compass if I can find more money. In the meantime, let's head to the shop or the item room. I hate that bomb placement. I, I guess. I guess we should look for the secret room at least. Oh man. You get flight. Lord of the Pit. Gives us flight and a speed up. A very nice one. Feel a lot more comfortable with that. Alright. There we go. Take this Horf pill. What's the pill we uh, had? When we started the run, uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Magician card. They're both magician cards. Why?
lover's card. Oh, right, right. <laughs> That's why they're the same card because of contract from below. Where is this leading to? Just two rooms? Okay. About to do a full clear. Alright. With that, we'll just buy a soul heart. <laughs> Gotta say, very glad we got the waiver. And I think Gimpy's gonna help out since we can take damage on the price of half a heart just to get a full heart back. A chance of at least. Very glad it's Red Mom as well, who's most li who mostly likes to stomp. No deal with the devil. We have uh, we have delirium waiting for us, but uh, I'm not I'm not finding delirium at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why we're, like, very lacking on keys at the moment. This guy might give us a key. Or, probably not, actually. Looking at the color. And I will... Go into the curse room. Since it's now half a soul heart for it. Very amazing. Actually, get a key in here. Wow. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Like, it was, there could be anything in, in the curse room. A boat's a boat, but a mystery box could be anything. It could be, even be. Bleh. It can even be a boat. Almost ruined that joke there. Not sure where this black heart came from. We didn't get hit. Can I? Yeah, okay. I was like, I really want a key, so let me let me do my best to actually get this key. Hermit card we can keep to get ourselves out of a boss trap room or mob trap room. Hold on. Let me, let me, okay. Oh, actually, I'll take the Empress card. Not sure who I'll use it on, though, but... We'll bomb you just for some extra money. No, not extra money. Uh, higher chance of double deal. And yeah, I'm still looking for a good double deal, even though we have chaos.
All right, it's just another dead end here. Like, I don't know. If only we had the compass. What did I buy from the store? No, there wasn't anything I bought from that store. Oh no, maybe I bought Gimpy. Maybe that's where I got Gimpy. Top right corner of this map, completely, utterly useless. Let's go somewhere else. not warp that's not worth warping out of um oh Ooh. I'm gonna uh, use this first uh, demon beggar Is this chariot perfect mr. boom and now I'll take dead cat luck toe I don't really need luck toe Mr. Boom is basically a uh, a active. Uh, it's a bomb that you can set off. On top of that, it uh, basically acts as uh, it acts as a Mr. Mega Bomb, so it is pretty strong. Mama Gertie, Mama Gertie is pretty easy, considering we have flight. This is gonna be kind of weird, but I'm gonna take Shade. I don't mind Shade, he's okay. Uh, well first, I, I wanna do that so I can get have uh, Polaroid invincibility, but also, um, I don't know, it seems like a nice safety measure, you know? Okay, well, Curse yeah, no, it is not great. It's not even like a bad item or anything. It's just there. I suppose it's good for bosses like Chubb. It's like a trap of sorts. So they have the little grubs. That's close. Nine Lives is going to be fantastic, though. As much as I wanted to take uh, Lazarus Rags again. Um, at least we have some way... So we got a tower card. Is this a Yarun? Agalaz, okay. I don't need these. Even though it's not, an, even though shade's not an item, I would generally take from a double deal. Again, it's not because it's bad; it's because they're way better double deal items. But because it was next to an item that you don't typically see in double deals, 
That was a pretty standard item, too. Uh, I was like, oh, why not? I'll take it. thing is our damage is also not great like you you want to make a checklist of like what you need before you head to the next floor flight is definitely something you would need by the time you get to the womb again I'm saving my Empress card for uh, probably Isaac I would say Tinted rocks here. by my cell phone. Okay. Let us get it lives or mom's heart. Sometimes the uh, I would say the hardest part about um, fighting mom's heart is whatever enemy it spawns uh, as we fight it. Cathedral. Damage doesn't look, or our health currently doesn't look too bad. I'm going to try to just sack dag these enemies before uh, we move on. Ooh. Wow, this is a very weird looking room. Having an angel just sitting here. It's not even a cathedral based room. Mm hmm. They're not even shooting anything. <laughs> this combo is great. Camel undies and uh, sack dagger. It, it may not make you immune to damage, but it's it's it at least makes the enemies confused. All right, that was also kind of risky having to leave the Empress card behind see if I can get it back if I can possibly I don't feel like it though ragman okay I guess I guess I guess uh, it doesn't actually affect bosses camel undies okay we got two empty rooms just sitting here it's nice I guess weird though
Oh, okay. I guess we are going to pick back up the Empress card. Or we can find a new one. Okay. Whatever. Is there a secret room here? Oh, no, no. What am I saying? We already found the secret room. I'm glad I used Mr. Boom for it. I don't really use Mr. Boom a lot. It's a good item early on. But... Oops. But, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just okay if it's late. Unless if you really need bombs. Okay. I have a feeling the uh, boss is south of there. We'll go back to where the secret room was. I just don't feel like finding the uh, other empty rooms at the moment. Probably would have been faster that way, but we might have had the risk of taking damage. Alright. Oh yeah, this is great. MVPs of this run, without a doubt, Sack, Sack Dagger, I have to bring that up, of course. Lazarus Rags. Wow, they really want me to fight Delirium. I'm not going to, though. Not this run. Uh, what else? Did a really good job here. Wafer. Wafer and Gimpy. Like, I literally just took damage right there and got an extra soul heart for it. Compost, synth oil, converter. Alright, we don't need. I'll pick this up just for extra bombs. And I will pick up compost because it's a much better active item for me. Alright. I think it's safe to say we can get this to be a one run here. Uh, you know what? Let me just attack him. Polyphemus is not really like a boss I need to use Sack Dagger. Compost will multiply. Well, compost can multiply our uh, spider count whenever of whatever we have. It also changes our pickups on the ground into spiders. Blister. Yeah, we'll take Blister. Oh. You know, I'll, I'll give um, a shout out to the uh, Infamy item because it, it. I just noticed it, but I have a feeling that there was a good chance that it actually did deflect a lot of um, projectiles for us. I just didn't really notice it at first. And again, it was an item that we got really early. Probably gonna need to do that.
surprisingly haven't haven't found um all right, we got a dead end here. Haven't found any gold chests on our way here. I don't think this is our longest run. Maybe we've had longer runs. I think the Blue Babies run has been longer because of the whole uh, Midas Touch run. Okay, let's... Oh yeah, the virus is also affecting all of our Black Hearts for dropping because we're touching these enemies and they're actually gonna get uh have a chance of dropping a black heart probably a good way of um utilizing the polaroid invincibility Not really why can't we get any There we go. Took us a while, but we finally found the boss. our run right here pretty solid run well I wouldn't even say solid it was very stressful I'll have to be honest if only because of our lack of health and more security I suppose the next time we're doing Eden and Eden is uh, well who knows what we're gonna have all right, heading off now. Hope everyone enjoyed the stream.